today's lunch break, we're making a garlic shrimp risotto with Brass Tack Executive Chef Nicholas Marino. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. So you guys have such a beautiful space, but maybe in a way hidden where people wouldn't necessarily know about it. Yes, uh, absolutely. We're on, on the third floor of the hotel, um, but uh, those who know about us continue to come back. Right. Uh, and yeah, we'd love to see more of the community joining us. Well, now absolutely. thanks to this segment, you may have more people yeah. coming in. <laughs> You're making a risotto, and I think this is a dish that intimidates a lot of people. Yes. And it really is relatively simple. It, it is. Although uh, it takes some patience. It takes some patience, and I guess as easy as it is to get it right, is as easy as it is to mess it up. Right. Um, so there's so, some key steps, and you're going to take us through so, those. So, yeah, we'll kind of just walk through it really fast. Uh, okay. So the very basics is kind of get some, some oil or, or butter going, anything that you're going to use for aromatics. In this case, we're going to use a little bit of uh, shallots uh, and some herbs, right? And then at that point, you can add in your dried rice. Um, so which herbs did you use? Just So this is a mixture of chives and parsley. Mm, okay. uh, and then you add in your dry rice and kind of get that toasted in that oil so that it can um, kind of develop some more flavor. And then you'll start adding in the liquid. Important thing is to make sure the liquid is hot so that it doesn't slow down the cooking. Oh. Um, so how do you know when it's time to start the liquid? Um, once you've got your um, rice toasted, you don't want it to brown. Uh, so light, very lightly toasted, that's when you want to start adding gotcha. it Gotcha, okay. So when um, I think of toast, I think of brown, but don't wait that yeah, long. Yeah, not too brown, right? Okay. So then we'll continue to stir. As it goes down, you continue to add more of the stock. In this case, it's vegetable stock. Um, you want to put about four parts liquid to one part rice. Right. And I think this is where the patience comes in because it's like you don't add more liquid until this is Correct. all absorbed and, at and this keep point, going. You continue stirring and that's going to release the starches and make it nice and thick. And just repeat uh, the process. And creamy. Exactly. And in right. this case, we're actually doing um, our shrimp and asparagus mm -hmm. um, risotto. So we'll do that in a separate pan. We'll get our shrimp and asparagus going. Uh, so we gain a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of shallots, and then some garlic. Oh, and then we're going to use a little bit of lemon zest uh, right in the oil because the oils will pull out that flavor oh. and kind of disperse it all the way through. Uh, I always think of putting lemon zest on at the end and not doing we're that We're going to do beforehand. that too, but this kind of incorporates it all in. Interesting tip. Um, okay. So we've got our shrimp and our asparagus. And generally, would you put those in at the same time? Because I feel um, like the asparagus takes a little bit longer to cook, or is that would, just TV? Um, not for this. The way we have the shrimp cut and that, okay. we're going to cook at about It'll the cook same faster. at right. about the same rate. Um, so yeah, we kind of get that all cooking up. And then a little chili flake you a added in there. A little chili flake for a little heat, and again, we want that in with the oil, um, so that it can kind of infuse throughout. And then while it's that's going, we'll hit it with a little bit of white wine. Oh. And that'll stop anything from browning and just allow it to cook through. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, um, nice yeah. tip there. Yes. All right, so while these things are kind of cooking up, I know we've got some images of the restaurant there, and you've got a lot of exciting things happening coming up. Mother's yes. Day, of course. Of course, we have our Mother's Day. Uh, we have uh, our brunch for that. We're featuring some really fun dishes. Um, and we also have every Sunday for brunch, our live music. And, of course, the bottomless rosé, everyone's favorite. Bottomless rosé, mm, yes. okay. Yes, so, uh, you know, we want people to come uh, for the experience. Yes, exactly. And I, right. I think live music, when you say the experience, enhances the experience of a meal. Absolutely. When, and so it's so great that you have the brunch there. And, of course, in the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, which is just iconic and beautiful, and just a wonderful space. Yes. Um, yeah, I think we're very lucky to have the space that we have, um, and we're just, we're just looking to kind of get everybody in there and enjoy our brunch service. And we have new spring menus also launching for lunch and dinner as well, and that'll be happening toward the end of next week. Perfect. You uh, have been busy. Yes, All right, so that's busy. the risotto when so it's just about risotto. finished there. And when it's finished, if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to grab this, and we can start kind of plating it up. So for this dish, we'll start with just getting the risotto into the bowl. We oh, don't want it to stand smells. up. If it stands right. up and doesn't kind of spread like that, you, you've let it dry up too much. Oh, okay. Right, so it should kind of sit down. That's a good tip. Well, like you a, know, if you're going to put like it a, out, let it spread. Yes, more like a porridge. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then we're going to top that with our shrimp. 
and asparagus. Shrimp and asparagus there. All right, while you are plating up that beauty, I want to tell people you can check out the restaurant at 11 East Walton Street on the third floor and online at BrassTacChicago.com. We're going to post the recipe we made on our website at WGNTV.com slash midday. And then we'll also have a link to Brass Tack if you want to make reservations for the Mother's Day or any of the other the music brunches or of dinner. Course. Anytime. Anytime. Great time food. Anytime you want to come see us. Yes. We'll be there. Thank you so much. WGNTV.com.